What's up, everybody? This is part two of the video tutorial series for NBA Top Shot. If you watched video number one, then by this point, you should understand the marketplace. There's a lot of other features there, so I encourage you to go and play around with them, such as filters, so you can filter different players like we saw. You can filter different teams, and then you can fo filter different sets and series and tiers, which I'm gonna explain today. So if you don't understand it yet, that's fine. Just watch the rest of this video and we'll get through it. Before we talk about sets and rewards and releases, I do want to talk about how many moments are minted for each and how that works and how to know if more will come or not. So if you remember in the last video, I went and bought this Karis Lever, um, or this is a different one. This is another one I own, number 764. I have this Karis Lever moment. He's great. It's a nice little highlight. It's number 764. You can see down here, it's one of 1,500. So we already, we already went over that. But it says here, addition size, right? And what does that mean? That means that when I look at it in the marketplace, just pull up the same one. When I look at it in the marketplace, it's going to have a little symbol beside it that says LE, which means limited edition count is final. That means that they are not making any more of these moments for Karis Lever. That means you can never buy this moment again in a pack. Remember last episode we bought the packs? Well, you cannot ever get this one again in a pack, right? Makes sense. Whereas CC, circulating count, means that more might be minted or printed, if you remember, by Top Shot. So CC means that 5,000 is not necessarily the final count of this moment. It means that at any moment, Top Shot could change this to 10,000 in your moment might be one of 10,000 right now. It's one of 5,000 if you want to buy this one. This is a different moment, obviously, than the one I bought previously. So what does that mean? That impacts the scarcity of the moments. Obviously, the market decides that a moment that has you know 1,500 LE or 1,428 LE or 499 LE is probably going to be worth more than ones that are 5,000 because, again, it's about, about, about how rare they are. Looking at these Karis Levert ones, you can see this one from the Lace'em Up set only has 75 and it's a legendary. So this one costs 750 bucks. Again, that's, that's, that's been listed by somebody at 750. It's limited edition. These will never come out in packs again. They were released in packs back in the fall. So just understanding the difference between LE and CC. So let's talk about these different sets. You're seeing here Metallic Gold, Lace'em Up, Base Set. These are all different types of sets and we're gonna go look at what the difference is between them. So like all collectibles, and especially sports cards, Top Shot has different sets with different themes. So each time there's a pack release, or often when there's pack releases, the packs will be released with a theme. So a couple weeks back, the Deck the Hoops pack was released. It had a set, there were 11 moments in there, and when you bought a Deck the Hoops pack, you would collect one. Let's look at what there were in there. Deck the Hoops is a legendary set, so there was only 85 of each of these moments. You can see here, I have the Zion one. I was very lucky. I pulled a Zion. And then there's also a DeAndre Jordan, a Kyrie Irving, Jason Tatum. These are lighting up this way because I don't have them. It's probably easier to actually illustrate this by going to the marketplace. So let's go to the marketplace and see if we are able to buy them. Let's pull this up here. So deck the hoops. So if I wanted to collect every single deck the hoops moment, I could go to the marketplace here. Say I, I wasn't able to get them in the packs. I could go to the marketplace here and choose the ones I want and buy them. As you can see, they are quite expensive. Again, this is a legendary set. So these are 85 LE. So they are rare. There's only 85 of these. Even Duncan Robinson, there's only 85 of that one. And even the Zion I will own, there's only 85. These are rare. So if you want the deck to hoop the hoops set, you need this one. But if you want a bigger set, let's say Metallic Gold Series 1, which was released again mainly in the fall and in the summer, you can see there's a lot more of these moments and that they're a lot cheaper because, well, one, the players are different and also there's way more of them. There's 299 LE. As you can see, some of the more notable players are more expensive. People price them higher. Again, all these prices being determined in the market. Probably your biggest question is, really, what is the difference between the sets? And again, the sets are just the themes that are put out by Top Shot. In Series 2 here, there have been a few different ones. And then in Series 1, there was quite a few. 
your next question is probably what's the difference between series one and series two? And that's a great question. So series one is pretty much reflective of the first basketball NBA season that was done for Top Shot, which was the 2019, 2020, you know, interrupted by the pandemic season. Series two is everything that has come out this season, this current season, the 2021 season that just started just before Christmas. So that's the difference between series one and series two. You'll probably learn as you start collecting that many collectors hold series one as way more valuable and that every single moment in series one has been retired, meaning none of these are ever coming out in packs again or being printed. So Series one, a little bit more rare now than anything in series two, but know that series two will grow. There will be many more sets in series two as this season goes on. Taking a quick look at series one sets, you can see that in series one, there was way more types of sets released. I think a really good example of why and how these sets come out is the different um, playoff rounds. So you can see there's a set here for first round of the playoffs, which was for the first round of the playoffs last year. So let's go take a look at those in the marketplace. Let's say I really loved last year's first round of the playoffs and I want to collect my entire set. You can see here I got Giannis, I got Nikola Jokic, Jason Tatum, Vucevic. All these players from that first round are available to me on the marketplace, but I cannot get them in packs. Again, they're done being printed. So the next thing I want to talk about is rewards. So what happens is when a pack is dropped, when a set is dropped, I'm going to go back to deck the hoops here. Um, when a set or a pack is dropped or the set is, is dropped into the pack, a challenge is created on Top Shot. So let's go to active challenges. So the challenge is pretty much for you to collect a certain number or the, the certain right moments to then earn a new moment. So what does that look like? So right now there is the metallic gold LE Challenge 14, Metallic Gold being one of the sets that you collect can collect that we just looked at. If you collect every single one of these moments, so Karis Lever, Jillian Brunson, exactly of this set, and not other ones, of just this Metallic Gold set, if you collect all these and hold them in your account for another four days and 11 minutes, then you will get a new Cody Zeller moment minted, and it's just going to be for you. So you and whoever else has collected all of those moments in time for this challenge to end will get the Cody Zeller. So what does that mean? It means that in here, you know, each of these moments only has 299 maximum. So how many of these Cody Zeller moments will be, will be minted? No more than 299. In fact, probably less. What does that look like when, you know, um, a set is actually printed? Well, let's go look at the Deck the Hoops uh, set that we were just looking at which was released for, you know, featuring the Christmas Day games. If you look at Deck the Hoops here, we're seeing which cards came out in decks or in packs, and you can see that each one only had 85. But the reward, again, for whoever held all these Deck the Hoop moments, all these expensive moments for Deck the Hoops, these legendaries, whoever was able to hold all of those for the right amount of time was given one of these Steph Curry Deck the Hoops moments. And you can see that only 40 of them were made. That means only 40 different collectors were able to collect those other 11 moments in order to get that. I hope that makes sense. I'm gonna play around with the challenges a little bit and just try and collect them for when the challenges come up because you will get a new moment that is not released in pack that is just for you, the collector, who is able to get all of them on time. So that's how rewards work. That's what sets look like. On the next and last video, we're gonna, I'm going to give you my tips for how to build out your collection in Top Shot.